So I'm just looking for an old min file. This is just on a new claim I staked. So along here, you have limestone on the bottom and then above it you have andesite. And I know that because I've thrown some rocks up there and grabbed ones that have fallen down just to check. It looks like you have a shear there and it looks like there's almost an old mine there. And uh, supposedly there's a 0 0.6 meter wide by 30 meter wide shear with scarn, pyrite, calcopyrite, and pyrotite. So we can't get up there. It's just too steep. So we're gonna look along the side of the creek here and see if we can find some material that is from the shear that would run presumably over here. You can see down there, you got mineralized area right there in contact with the limestone. So here is the first sample that we pulled from the bank over here out of the watermark. And as you can see, scarn with semi-massive mineralization, pyrite, minor calcopyrite, and pyrotite. As you can see, we are right by the road. Everything is very, very dusty. This creek is a seasonal creek and it hasn't flowed for several months now. So a lot of these rocks are covered in dust. But you can still see some rocks. And as you can see, this rusty hunk I just pulled out right here. Massive mineralization. Look at that. That is a banger sample. These two samples, one of them I just showed you was from in the bank up there. The other one also a little higher on the bank. This sample I found right here. So I hammered that one in half. Take a look at this. Ooh wee. Pyrite, pyrotite, calcopyrite. Massive mineralization. Look at that. This is the other sample here. You can see the scarn and massive mineralization. And what do we have here? Look at the calcopyrite. Another sample found right down there. So essentially this is what we're looking for. Rocks that look a little bit darker with more oxidation. You can definitely tell by the weight. Like this one definitely is going to be mineralized. We're going to take this one out here too. Let's see. Oh yeah. That's heavy. Let's break these two open. It's got to weigh like probably 20 kilograms, eh? Yeah. At least. Yeah, that's heavy. Let's break her open. Oh yeah. She's mineralized. Another amazing massive sulfide piece let's get a hammer on this one very interesting there is a bit of mineralization in there it looks like there's uh, garnets in there it's definitely mineralized A little less mineralized, but it's definitely scarring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten float samples we've found so far now. 
imagine what we can see when all this is washed off after a good rain. There is a lot of float here too that's mineralized that doesn't match any other description of the min file in this area or those other samples that we found. It's more of a volcanic rock with pyrotization. But most of what we're finding is massive sulfides. It's a good sign. I think we have additional staking to do in this area. Off to the next place. We'll see you guys next time.